Welcome back. We have a returning author joining us on the show now, Douglas Schofield, who is uh, originally from Kamloops, but now lives in Nova Scotia. It's great to have you back. Thank you. Thank you for inviting yes. me. Very welcome. Uh, you were on the show a few years ago talking about another book that you uh, wrote, Time of Departure. Today we are talking about this book, Killing Pace. Uh, we have a picture, I believe, we can show, a close-up of the, of the front of the book that we can show. There it is. Uh, tell me a little bit about... This one, it's very, I, I read the outline. It's about a woman whose name, her, her last name is Pace. Uh, she, Laura Pace, and it's a, a sort of an action adventure. It is. Yeah. Um, Vancouver Sun called it a, called her a female Jason Bourne, which I was quite flattered to hear. That is flattering. Yeah. <laughs> uh, she's a, an American Customs and Border Protection officer who's been posted overseas. Uh, you know they have the system, the, the Americans do, in some other countries as well, where they inspect containers in a foreign port before they're shipped to the home port, to mm -hmm. America. Mm -hmm. So when they come off the ship, they can go straight on a truck. They've already been cleared. Mm -hmm. And while she's on that posting, she um, stumbles into a conspiracy. Uh, it's called a baby laundering conspiracy. Right. Interesting. Baby laundering is something that you don't hear much about. Mm -mm. Uh, the um, the Americans have broken two rings, one from Central America and one from Southeast Asia, in the past, uh, who who were involved in kidnapping and purchasing babies for adoption purposes. And there's a whole black market in adoption in North America, uh, not just America, Canada and and the United States. Okay. And uh, so she she stumbles into this conspiracy and and uh, with her unique skills she takes them down. But doesn't she <laughs> suffer from amnesia at some point? Uh, uh, yes. And has to figure fact, out who she really is? That's the way we start the story, that's but it actually, starts. but that actually falls in the middle of the story. Oh, okay. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Um, the books that you've written, I, I, this is your fifth book, is that that's right? right. Yeah. Do they all, are they all related or are they all absolutely separate from each other? They're all standalones as the yeah, stand publishers say. Uh -huh. But this, I want to be volume one. I want to write more Laura Pace. I, Quite, I quite like this lady. Yes. What has the reaction been so far to Killing Pace, the book? Uh, the reviews are unbelievable. Yeah. The best reviews I've ever had and for any of my novels. I'm very, very pleased. Good for you. You spent yeah. some time in the Grand Cayman, so let's talk about that. And, yeah, and has that had yeah. any relationship with the books that you've written? Well, my first book partly takes place there. But, um, yeah, I've spent nearly about 18 years in the Cayman Islands. And what were you doing there? I was the Assistant Solicitor General for most of that time. For Canada? No, Assistant Solicitor General of the of Cayman Islands. Yeah. How do you get that job? Uh, well, I was working in the Attorney General's chambers and sort of worked my way up the greasy pole, as it were. <laughs> but it seems like such an interesting job, and then to also be an author. Is just two completely separate interests, or does some of your, your, your time there work, weave its way into your books? Well, I, I draw on my own experiences sometimes, and I draw on the experiences of other friends I have in not only the legal profession, but the law enforcement mm -hmm. profession in both America, Canada, and Britain. Mm -hmm. So I do have... Uh, I have resources to tap into, as it were, uh, to help construct a plot. And I don't like to just write, I don't want to write just courtroom dramas because I'm a lawyer. I mean, why should, you know, mm -hmm. there, there's more to life than that. Sure. Yeah. And again, it's the context that you have that can make the characters rich and, and, and interesting and, you know, full of backstories. Does that mean you have citizenship in the Grand Caymans? As a matter of fact, I do. That's awesome. Yeah. And Canada? Yeah. Can you have both? Yes. Very cool. Do you ever go back? Uh, I've still, I've still got one case, so I've been going back a couple of times, but I won't, I won't be going back often. No, no, well now you're in Nova Scotia, as it turns out, and the last time that uh, Douglas was on at midday, he hadn't moved to Nova Scotia. How are you liking it there? The Maritimers are wonderful people. Yeah, uh, I yeah. hear this. Yes. Uh, the ones I know it's, are, It's but... an amazing experience, actually. Yeah. Yeah. I've not been, and I'd like to go. I might even set a story there. I was just going to say, Laura Pace <laughs> may end up being in the Maritimes at some point. Uh, it could happen. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. Right. Yeah. So tell me this. We're almost out of time, but you are going to be at Chapters tomorrow yes. uh, for a book signing. I believe it's 1 o'clock. Is one that right? 1 o'clock at Chapters. Is that's that right. tomorrow or today? That's tomorrow. Tomorrow. And so people are welcome to come down and meet you, have a book signing. Uh, Killing Pace, of course, is uh, available at Chapters, uh, so that can also be a part of your day if you want to come in and meet uh, Doug and you could uh, get a book signed. Anything else that you would like to add? Uh, it's supposed to be rainy and thundery, according to your weather report. It sure tomorrow. is. Thank so you. The, yes. The, 
the people might as well be at Chapters, inside, right. out of the rain. Yes, and we have a cozy Chapters with a nice little coffee yes. a spot there. So uh, it's right. a great way to spend the afternoon if it's raining. So I hope some of my old friends come. Indeed. Well, they, if they're watching now, I'm sure yeah. they will. Douglas, thank, thank you for you. being here today. Thank you. Yes, uh, we will uh, just, again, let you know it's 1 o'clock tomorrow at Chapters. And you can also look up Douglas at douglasschofield.com. Five books in all.